Hi, welcome again to another episode of High Gear Project. This episode's kind of about interviews. We hope you enjoy it. I think the conversations you'll find to be enlightening from learning about our company, and then also kind of, again, how we operate together. So enjoy another episode of the High Gear Project. <laughs> I really, I really like rocks. That's interesting. Anywhere I go, if I find a cool rock. Unless it's like, I don't take them from national parks because that's... That's a thing. That's a thing. And I, I respect the thing. Uh, I used to, when I was a kid, I collected rocks. Yeah. I still have my rock collection from when I was a kid. That's cool. Yeah. So, I think we want to talk about, I'd like to kind of check in and see where we're at with SEO Plus, because we talked about, you know, from an operation standpoint, wanting to systemize that a little bit, mm -hmm. kind of get, you know, some flow, some really kind of checks and balances and everything like that. but. Yeah. You know, since stepping in, like you've, I think, made some improvements to that department, and holy crap! Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly like very blown away with what you've done, and you yeah. just started with this, like, what, two months ago or like a month ago? With this role? Yeah. Oh, three weeks ago. What? Yeah. <laughs> I had okay. This it feels like third, longer. This is my third full week back. So what I'm doing right now is quality checking. You know, for the most part, we're fine, but there's usually about 17 or 18 blogs that are floating in the netherworld that we've written that we have no idea who they're for. Right. <laughs> um, right. And so I'm trying to get rid of that problem and just make that a whole lot more streamlined. Things are happening. That's it's amazing. It's just time consuming. It. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, we're laying groundwork for right. really being able to be more efficient and scalable. Exactly. So that's brilliant. Exactly. So yeah, I'm like, this needs to be done and it needs to be going in and looking at every single client. Yeah. I think we'd be okay, uh -huh. but I want to make it so that anybody could come in right. and make sense of this process is the goal. And so. that's what we need to do with all the departments. Right. Do you feel like we're getting close to that or do you feel like there's a lot more still that you're trying to just solidify and, and kind of reinvent? I think we're getting close to it. I mean, let's let the dust settle with right. kind of you finalizing things. <laughs> but I think once that happens and then we build some infrastructure around it, I think then being able to change product offerings, mm -hmm. you know, would be great. Yeah. So I, yeah, I'm planting that seed. So blogs, on-page optimization, mm -hmm. you know, all the other SEO plus stuff. Is there anything else that you need or things that kind of need to be nailed down? There's only so much I think we can do, and then there's stuff the shop has yeah. to do. Updating photos, um, having clients update photos, you know, things like that helps. Yeah. How, you know, us doing the updates helps. Yeah. But Google is really, for the business, profile they love pictures yeah <laughs> and they love when it's not all coming from the business because that's that's showing they're an active business and people like what they do mm -hmm. maybe part of that process too for our google business profile optimization is maybe like a really little short uh consultation on it mm -hmm. you know like hey here's what we see here's best practices yeah kind of or even like a newsletter or something tips and tricks for google business profile yeah <laughs> All right. Um, I, mean, I just want to check in on kind of where things are at. I feel very encouraged and confident. So, like, let's check in, you know, maybe in a few weeks, and then I want to kind of come back around at looking at systems and processes. Mm -hmm. I love the fact you're writing SOPs. <laughs> um, are you doing written, video, combination? I want to start getting videos done. Right okay. now, they're just written. That's fine. Um, but I think having videos would be super helpful too. The more that we kind of incorporate that stuff as we grow, you know, it's kind of this on demand what you need stuff. Yeah. I think that'd be great. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Go team. Go team. <laughs> All right. Thank we you. We got this. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, Rachel. Um, am I crazy for doing this? Yeah. <laughs> So I thought we'd enter into evidence on the show, a little history. Rachel was friends with my ex-wife. You've known her, or Kathy, from when you were like nine or something, right? Like yeah, young. childhood friends. Grew up in, was it Macon? Macon. Together, yeah. And then enter me. And 
kind of taking things up to speed. I got my first ever business license at the end of 2012 for Ryan Burton Marketing. And I vividly remember it. I don't know where I was, but I remember having it in my hand and I wasn't at home and just looking at it going like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Like I have no idea. Uh, I got it because I bought a Money Mailer franchise. And then that kind of evolved and very quickly I just needed some graphic design help. And we connected the dots and you were helping. And I remember you said something very profound. I remember you just said to me, I'm just here to help you in any way you need. I'll just help you in any way you need. And you helped me and you would do design pieces and do things. You remember we did like some direct, like some magazine ads and things. You remember doing stuff like that? I did. We did some billboards, some digital billboards. Right. That was for Metro Mattress, right? And Ace Hardware. We did Ace Hardware billboards? Yeah, I did Ace Hardware too. And you didn't think much of it. You, I think you were working. You just kind of did this on the side to help me out. Yeah, I was working full time. I know you, you tried to get me to do SEO, and I tried. Mm. I mean, the early days? In the Before early you worked days. for me? Yes. I don't remember that. Did you Yeah, remember? Yeah, some SEO. You were trying to show me how to do some meta tags and descriptions. Are you serious? Of course, I'm a designer, and I didn't really get it <laughs> at the oh, time. Oh, that's too much. I don't, I don't remember that. But So you were kind of there for me, and you helped. And, you, and I think back now and remember your desire to help me, where you said, I just want to help you. And then there was the cutbacks at print media, whatever they called it, where you're working the former Yellow Pages and all that, yeah. which had evolved. And, um, and you had a big job there. I think you were involved, involved in the cover art and approval of... Yeah, print coordinator between the printers and the artists right. and the work and the cover art. Right, which was well cover art. Yeah. So you had this big job there and then the layoffs and everything and the way print went, it was what it was. And then you went back to school. I just felt like it was like the next step to move in my career. Like to learn the digital. It makes sense. You're a graphic world. designer. Because I'm a graphic designer yeah. and everything is going digital websites, and I've been a print designer for so long. So I went back to school and got a web development degree, and then realized I hated coding. <laughs> and literally, from day one when you started, which was like May of 2018, maybe, you've never coded anything. You've never had anything to do with a website. It <laughs> leads to me like she hated it, and I, she started. I was just like, so I was like. Okay, so you're not going to do any web development. <laughs> I hated coding. And it has been a hell of a journey together, hasn't it? <laughs> it has. We had that little office. Well, initially, I, was, I think I was in the living room at, at my house, so I, we didn't have an office back then. And then we got the office, and it was just you and me sitting in there. And I know we had a couple, we'll leave the other people nameless, they had a couple other people come through. Some of them were not good. It was not good. It's one of those things that, you know, people assume, you know, Google or Amazon, these big companies, just are you know they just have been successful and got there but it's very similar with us i mean this is a dream and it's it's and it's it's an evolution you know we have shop owners now that have seven eight shops and they're new to that they're not seven eight shop owners they're they had one and they grew and it's it's all a growth process and it's hard and it's challenging and every day we learn but we've been guided by two things and that's over the top care for our customers and and results right and, and great marketing so um yeah, no, I think this is a fun conversation. What do you think? Yeah.